and Steve, and when I'm not hunting bear in Sugar Grove or deer in Elburn, I'm at home watching TV 17 Outdoors. Folks, welcome to TV 17 Sports. I'm Tony Chimanko, along with my partner Anthony Chimanko, and we're here in Hampshire High School to bring you the varsity basketball game between the Hampshire Whippers and Crystal Lake South Tigers. It should be an interesting contest. Hampshire is off to her best starts in a long time at six and one. They've won three in a row. A lot of close games. Uh, Crystal Lake South, on the other hand, is having a mediocre season, four and four. They've got blown out a couple of times, uh, so you never know what to expect from them right now. Uh, Anthony, uh, you talked to uh, Coach a minute, uh, for a few minutes. What did he say about uh, his concerns for tonight's game? Well, Tony, you mentioned that you know they've had problems closing out games, a lot of close games. They haven't been able to put the nail in the coffin, but they have been able to hang on, I guess, and pull some of these off uh, in the late running. Uh, they do have a man. Crystal Lake Central has a guy that's 6'7 that they're going to be worried about, so we can expect Danny Duhai to play some tight D on him, and uh, uh, he definitely wants to win that turnover game. Uh, those can be crucial. So it should be a good game. He doesn't care that this team's 4-4. Four and four. Uh, He wants a clean game at home today, a uh, W. Right, so that's exactly right. Uh, Hampshire's uh, hit, a, especially the Burlington Central game, Hampshire was down uh, all the way and made a great comeback in that fourth quarter to win. And just last game, they uh, won in overtime. They had a chance to close out that game and let it slip away and did well in overtime and ended up winning by seven. So it should be a great game. We're looking forward to it. Uh, we'll be back in a moment. You're watching TV 17 Sports. If you've got a bad case of new tractor fever, we've got the cure. It's the Green Fever sales event at your John Deere dealer. Get hot deals like 0% financing or choose big cash discounts on select John Deere utility tractors and hay tools. Give in to your green fever and get to your John Deere dealer today. Stop by at Buck Brothers anytime. Route 20 and 47 Hampshire. What are all these people running from? They're not running from, they're running to. They're running to places like Cuts and Style and Sugar Grove to buy TV17 coupons. They're also running to the Purple Store in Caneville and Diamond Lube and Oil in Hinkley. You better run and join them because TV17 has the hottest coupons in town. Here we are, folks. Ready? Uh, welcome to 17 Sports. We're here for the starting lap. Number three, Chad Carr, Chad Franson. Number 15, Jacob Sigmund. And number 24, Jack Arner. And number 33, Stephen Pinnacle. And now for the starting lineup for the Hampshire Whippers. Number 25, Grand Woods. Brendan Woods. Number 22, Jake Tuttle. Number 21, Algerly Algali. Number 12, Matthew Bridges. And number 10, Drew Doran. We'll be right back with a starting tip off. You're watching TV 17 Sports. We often forget about the people behind the snow plows who are out clearing the way for us in the worst winter conditions. Westside Truck stands behind these workers to repair and keep their trucks on the road no matter how high the snow piles up this winter. Hodges Westside Truck Center is the place to go if you need a work truck for your business. Hodges offers a wide variety of trucks to meet your needs, and we have two locations to serve you in Marengo and in Elburn. 
and that's where you can browse around and find the right truck for you. We also service what we sell. We have an excellent parts and customer service department, and we also have a complete workshop to make the repairs you need to keep your truck on the road. Our Elburn facility is located on Main Street, just east of Route 47, and in Marengo, you can find Westside Truck Center on Route 20 Grant Highway near I-90. If you like pizza, TV17 Coupons has some great deals. How about $20 worth of menu items from Pisano's Pizza in Elburn for $10? Or a large cheese pizza with three toppings, a $20 value for $10 from Genoa's Pizza in Sugar Grove. Save money. Use TV17 Coupons. We're ready for the tip-off. Anthony, should be a good game here. You got a good one, yep. Hampshire in white, Crystal Lake in the black and red. And here's the jump, and controlled by Hampshire. 21, Agu what's his last name, Anthony, pronounced? Aguri? Ajiri. Ajiri, okay, I always get that one messed up, man. All right, good feed inside the Drew door, and won't go, good refound. Bridges, won't go. Two shots, two misses, and Crystal Lake controls. Number five. Derek Olsen bringing the ball, trying to set it up. Give it to Chad France, number three. And a turnover right there. Bridges, good feed. And won't go for Algeria. Another rebound, still won't go. Crystal Lake grabs that board. Trying to set up here. Hampshire, 0 for 4 with the shooting here, Anthony, early. Yeah. Crystal Lake taking her time. France in. Being pressured right here. And it's thrown away there. A bad pass in 22 Tuttle with the steal. And they're going to call that a travel, huh? So. Yeah, I just looked like he lost his balance there at the last minute. It got tripped up, and they're going to call that one a foul. That's what I thought. But, well, so far, not the start we're looking for. 0 for 4 shooting and a turnover for Hampshire. I, you know, Tony, I think he was going, he was uh, suspecting a block. The defender coming to behind him lost his balance, and it led to the turnover. Yep, well, Crystal Lake is trying to set up. They haven't had a shot. Here's the first shot from long range. It's in and out by Fronson. Didn't hit. Hampshire with the board. Doran to set up. Woods looks like he has the ball, faked the shot, and a little sloppy right there. They were lucky they, Doran saved that. Woods top of the key. Thought about it. Gets a tunnel to Dorn inside, and he gets the board. And Hampshire is on the board with 6.20 left in his first quarter. Real good look there for uh, Doran, and uh, Hampshire will take those all day. Yeah, Hampshire so far out shooting them 5-1 to one here at the end. There's another steal. Bad pass there. Uh, Crystal Lake a little sloppy. Three turnovers, Anthony. Yeah, three, three easy steals. Oh, uh, another turnover on Hampshire. Looks like he's calling a carry over under there. That's on Bridges. Tell you what, Tony. I mean, Hampshire had these. They had they knocked down some of these shots and not turned the ball. <laughs> we could look, be looking at it like a double-digit lead already. Yeah. Instead, like I said, four missed shots, two turnovers himself. So nursing a two-nothing lead. This is the only second shot at an attempt, and it's rebounded by Woods. So Crystal Lake, 0 for two, three turnovers. The sloppy start for them too. Wood trying to drive and lost everything there. Good comes out at number 24, Ottner. Good pass, Olsen with the basket. And uh, Crystal Lake's on the board. Took him almost three minutes to score. 2-2, two -two, 5.30 left first quarter. And it looks like we're gonna get an over the back foul on 24 there. That'll be on Ortner. <laughs> That's only the first foul of the game, all right. OG's going to turn it in there and gives it to Doran. Doran, oh, Doran, nice to pass to Tuttle, and Tuttle does not get the roll. And it looks like it's going to be a foul on 21. The jury. The jury gets the over the back there. So Hampshire, a little cold start in Anthony. Very cold start. Uh, sloppy, Slo very sloppy, Barnett. Can't be uh, too pleased with this, but we got a long way to go. Yeah, this reminds me of the Burlington Central game was kind of a low-scoring affair to start. Hampshire didn't get really cooking until the fourth quarter. You don't want to f get too many games starting off slow like this. You run into a good team and f you find yourself down by 10, you know, and uh, always hard to come back. 
All right, good pass right there in the board, up the middle to 24. Ortner didn't get the, the roll, and Hampshire comes out with the rebound. Woods driving, good dish off right there, and nice to Matt Bridges, finishes it. Hampshire up 4-2, 446, and there he goes again. Ortner can't get that, uh, can't buy one off that backboard. Rebounded by Hampshire. Yeah. Hampshire at least in the, doing a good job on the defensive board. Long reads from Bridges from downtown. And Hampshire up 7-2, Anthony. Yep, he got a real good, he got some space right there, had a real good look, and he didn't pass up on it. All right, Crystal A coming down, Fronson with the ball. He's got, got a three-point attempt down from the corner and way off there by Olsen. Hampshire controls the boards. Hampshire's doing a great job here, at least boxing out defensively, Anthony. Doran, Kizek, Tuttle open, Tuttle get a good move. He's going. Oh, Tuttle looked like he was going to jam it, but puts it in there. And Hampshire out with a 9-2 lead with 4.02 left. Crystal Lake's going to call a timeout. We'll take one, too. You're watching TV 17 Sports. No matter what equipment you need for the home or the farm, you can find it at Decane Equipment Corporation in Big Rock. Decane carries a wide variety of steel products, especially chainsaws for homeowners and professionals. We have a large selection of Honda and Cub Cadet snowblowers to take on your typical Midwestern snowstorm. In fact, three Cub Cadet models were named as Consumer Digest Best Buys. We also carry Honda generators to provide power when you need it. We sell Kubota RTVs, one of the best utility vehicles on the market. For the big jobs, we have Gale skid loaders, little giants known for exceptional power and hydraulic performance in small places. And then there's the versatile tractor series. From the versatile 250 seen here with the Landau tillage attached to the powerful 550 tractor. Versatile four-wheel drive tractors offer the choice of manual or power shift transmissions in most models. We also have a fully stocked parts department, a full service repair shop, and we offer pickup and delivery service. That's Decane Equipment Corporation on Route 30 in Big Rock, Illinois. Call us or visit our website. Welcome back, folks. We're at Crystal Lake's ready inbound after taking a timeout. Hampshire on a 7-0 run here. And so far, Hampshire, the last three minutes have came alive. Since that five-minute mark, they've turned up the shooting. Okay, trying to feed inside the front. And drive still can't get it. Offensive board by Fronson, but Hampshire with the steal, and there goes Doran all the way up and lays it in there in the crowd. Doran with a basket, and Hampshire extends the lead to 11 2 on a 9 0 run here. 3 35 first quarter. Thought about the three. Olsen gives it up. Back to Fronson now. He's got a man in the middle of 20. Must be in for the first time. I don't, his nerd, no McAlpine. Crystal Lake now. Trying to set up for a perfect shot. Oh. A lot of dribbling here, Anthony, and not much action. Nope. And here's a shot from the key far in. Oh. Derek Olsen with his first basket there, yep. Well, Tony, uh, we mentioned uh, in the pregame about 6-7-33 Steven Panico, the center for Tigers. And uh, I'll tell you what, Hampshire doesn't even have to worry about him. He's not even in the game. Yeah, and uh, there's another miss by Crystal Lake. And Woods drive it, and oh, he gets it. He's going to get the finger roll, and we're going to have a chance for a three-point play. I was going to say on that previous series, Hampshire got a little lazy there. They took a shot, and nobody fouled that shot there. So Hampshire has a 13-4 to lead, and Woods is going to try to get the three-point play the hard way. It's only a team, only second team foul on uh, Crystal Lake. Nobody in foul trouble. 2.41 left in this opening quarter. And he gets the roll on there, Anthony. Sends this lead to 14 to four. Well, Tony, we can uh, we could be looking at a good game for the Whippers if they can just, you know, they got a good lead and they, they want to just build on it and they can, you know, bust this one right open. All right, 31 Luke Tuttle in this game. And there's another forced pass, and Tuttle gets that errant pass, gonna go coast to coast, up, and nice move off the backboard. And it looks like we're gonna take another timeout here. Another timeout by Crystal Lake. Hampshire with a 16 to four lead. You're watching TV 17 Sports. Your independent Allstate agent in Sugar Grove is David Weiss. David works for you to find the best rates on your home insurance. 
as well as your auto insurance. He's always looking for ways to help you save money. And so is his friendly, courteous staff. His office is conveniently located on Route 47 and Cross Street in Sugar Grove. Call him anytime at 630-466-7835. Very nice. First quarter here at Hampshire. Enjoying a 16-4 lead. They're on a 14-2 run here in the last three minutes, Anthony. Uh, some good shooting by Hampshire and some bad decision by Crystal Lake. Uh, yep, that sums it up so far. It's been a really, uh, Hampshire hasn't even played uh, their best, and they got a 12-point lead in the first quarter. Yeah, Hampshire started out sluggish, missed their first four shots. Uh, like I said, the last uh, three minutes, Hampshire came alive. All right, Crystal Lake bringing this ball up. Back to uh, Fronson, playing a little tight defense there. Uh, Hampshire looks like going to go into like a little zone here, but... Oh, there, they telegraphed that pass and almost a steal there. It was a steal. A long three by Fronson is off, and we got a push. Looks like it's going to be against Hampshire. Kind of push on it. I don't know who. Number 30, Austin Spay with the foul. Crystal Lake to inbound. Two team fouls each. Bronson to Olsen, and threw it away. Oh, nope, it must have went off of Hampshire. Well, you know what, Tony? It looks like Crystal Lake just can't read this uh, Hampshire defense. Well, Hampshire defense looking a little bit quick, and they're getting their hands on everything. Look, okay, they got the height advantage, too. Uh, number zero, McKenzie with his first shot, and won't go. Rebounded by number 30, Spieth. That was, a, that was a decent look. Uh, you know, I haven't seen Chris Lake Central get a good shot under the net yet, unlike Hampshire. Hampshire's gotten like five already, and there was almost another one. Uh, Duhai with a sky hook, and thought he was killing him at Jabbar there, but it didn't go. Hampshire getting some shots, though. It was a good shot. Rebounded by Crystal Lake, trying to set up. Crystal Lake, only four points with well, coming in one, one minute left in this first quarter. I don't know if it's good Hampshire defense or poor... Chris Lake shooting and a long shot by Franson is off. Finally, an offensive board. Franson got his own rebound. There's what happens when you follow your shot. 16 to 6, Hampshire, under a minute to go. Bridges looked like almost traveled and looks like he got knocked out and a foul on a, on a baseline there. Yeah, Bridges looked like he was almost going to go for that three up. Uh, yeah, Bridges, you know what? He's tall. He's one of their men, don't know, but he's not afraid to pop one from beyond the arc. That foul was on 15, Sigmund. Hampshire, oh, do hide. Got an easy basket there and didn't follow through. Crystal Lake with the board. Olsen, trying to set up. Oh, good steal. Hampshire got the ball in there, but still got it. And McKenzie gets his first basket of the game. And all of a sudden, they cut that lead, 16 to eight. Under 25 seconds here, first quarter. Hampshire looks like they're going to try to shoot for the last shot here. Tuttle with the ball. There we got 12 seconds to go. That's a long one for Bridges. I think that's out of his range there, Anthony. Yeah. Bridges is going to try to drive. He's got a man. Open it up. And he, no, oh, what? They're not calling it? Oh, man. They're not going to give him the continuation. I don't know about that one. I, I thought he got fouled way. They caught him foul on top of the key there, but not a shooting foul, so Hampshire's going to have to inbound this. Six seconds to go. That's a nice move, Anthony. Yeah, it was. Just went straight in. And the Crystal Lake with a little better defense here all of a sudden. Number 20 check it in. McAlpine. All right, here we go. Hampshire trying to inbound. Five seconds to go. Still time. And there's Tuttle, he's got an open three. It's up, and he gets it! And a great shot there. And folks, that's gonna end that first quarter here with Hampshire 19, Crystal Lake eight. We'll be right back with the second quarter. You're watching TV 17 Sports. 20 years. Hey.
Briggs on Main Street in Maple Park has provided quality professional hair care for the entire family. Peg and her staff keep up on the latest fashion trends for adults and children. She also carries a wide variety of hair care products for your convenience. And when they're finished pampering your hair, you can walk over and browse around the fantastic on-site gift shop. Stop in anytime at Pegs on Main in downtown Maple Park or give them a call at 815-827-3051. Welcome back, folks. We're about ready to start the second quarter. Crystal Lake will inbound. And Anthony, Crystal Lake got a couple baskets at the end there, but that three-pointer by Tuttle gives him an 11-point lead. Really interesting first quarter. It's going to be interesting to see how both teams respond after that interesting first quarter. All right, here we go. Bronson trying to go set something up already. Olsen inbound, back to Olsen on top of the key there. Trying to shot, he's taking a shot, and he gets it. Number five, Olsen with a basket. Cuts the lead to 19-10, Hampshire. That's six points for Olsen there, Anthony. He's got six out of 10. Yeah, he's had a couple good looks, and he's- All right, inbound to Woods. Woods just driving. Uh, no match on that. He had the height advantage and took advantage. 21-10. There's only three guys have scored for uh, for Crystal Lake so far, and they're all in there. He's one of them right there. He's got a basket, and there's number 15, Sigmund, and back to Fronson. And there's a good steal. They're trying to force that ball in there, Anthony. And there's an easy basket for Ogden, and he gets fouled, and he's going to go to the free throw line. Well, I'll tell you what, Tony. Hampshire seems like they could just drive right to that basket all night long and they would cruise in this one. I mean, they are blowing right by those defenders and they're getting great looks every time. All right, Ali's going to try to complete this three point play here. Extend that Hampshire lead. And he does not get it. And Hampshire fighting for that rebound, but it's not. Hampshire with 23-10 leads, under seven to go. Wow, little... Oh, number 15 gets on the scoreboard. Jacob, Jacob Sigmund. Sigmund. That's his first points. And Hampshire with a 23-12 lead. Tuttle, thought about the three. This is his other brother, Tuttle. The two Tuttle is playing catch. A shot, hit the rim, rebound by Tuttle. Got it to Woods, Woods gets up there, another three, won't go. Number five, Olsen with that rebound. Try to drive, oh, that's a walk right there. A walk, and a jump ball. I can't believe that. It looked like a travel from up here, but the Hampshire will get the ball on his jump, on his uh, tie up here. Total inbounds. Looks like a little tighter defense from Crystal Lake here. Oh, nice pass to Woods, and he walked on that one. Yep. We saw that one from up here, but it looked like the same thing down there, the other end. All right, Crystal Lake, back to Fronson. Got a shot up. Fingertip roll, won't go. For Sigmund, trying to get another one there. And Hampshire controls the board. Tuttle with the rebound. And all at the top of the key. That's oh, wow. nice feed. Woods to Jake Tuttle with the easy basket there in Hampshire with a 25-12 lead. Yeah, they were all they were all scattering at the front of the floor, and all of a sudden Tuttle just goes right to the basket and they get the score. All right, Crystal Lake trying to get some offense here. Trying to set a couple of picks here. Number 14 takes his first shot in a game that I remember. Justin Cruz, and it's off and controlled by Tuttle, Hampshire. Gives it to his other brother, and Luke trying to drive here. And there's a shot. 
Oh, nice yeah. shot by O'Haley. And Hanch with the biggest lead, 15 points, 27-12. With 4.46 left, we got a foul. Looks like it's gonna be on Hampshire. This is a real nice shot there by Ajiri Agho. 21, O'Haley with the foul. There we've got Matt Bridges back in, and it looks like Duhai's in. Non-shooting foul, Crystal Lake inbound. 27 to 12, Hampshire trying to take control of this game early. Two, look like he could have walked on that one. Cruz had a shot, didn't give it up. And there's 33. And that's the guy we worried about, Stephen Ponko, the big 6'7 guy, took a shot from far away and off. And there's Bridges from downtown and off the front of the rim. Uh, rebounded. He got, just got his first rebound, so. Yeah. He's got some height there. Duhais looks like they're pretty even with the height there. All right. Ortner trying to set something up, and there's a big three-pointer by Sigmund, but it's way off. Yeah, Nico and, Bennett with the rebound there. And, and there's another big, there's another rebound by the big guy, Panko, 33. Oh, what a steal! Picked his pocket. Bennett foul, picked his pocket and put it in. And Hampshire with a 29-12 lead, 3:42 left in this second quarter. Hampshire, 17-point lead, their biggest lead of the game. Crystal Lake just can't get anything started. Man, there he goes, a nice fadeaway by Olsen. Yep, had a little pump fake and got the space and put it in. He's got eight points, Anthony, out of 14 for their team. Yeah, he's chancing. All right, total with the ball, trying to set something up, top of the key. Looks like Crystal Lake's in a zone now. And into Matt Bridges, down low to post, back up to Woodrow, he had the three, didn't take it. Now he's at the top of the free throw line. Won't go. Offensive board by Bridges. It's coming back. They got him cut off. They'll double team. Oh, what a pass. What a pass to Duhai. Yeah, very, very nice assist there. Uh, that was Bridges to Duhai. Hampshire with a 31-14 lead. 2.44 to go. Cruz trying to set something up for Crystal Lake. Hampshire defense is smothering everybody right now. And he walked. A uh, forced turnover by the defense, Anthony. All right, Bridges to inbound. Bennett has it. Hampshire taking her time. 2.25 left in this first half, and Bridges trying to get the roll around. He was hacked on the arm. He'll be going to line for two shots here. I don't know if that's foul is on Cruz. Yep. Foul is on Cruz. That's her 16 foul there. And first one won't go in and out. Yeah, well, Tony, you did mention uh, earlier that Hampshire has a little inconsistency, a little trouble with their free throws, and uh, they haven't knocked down many. Is There's another miss. And he missed two. Right? They've missed like four already, I think. Yeah, yeah, I always say, you, you're, nothing's free. You gotta take those free throws. No. Oh, nice pass in there, the hard pass. Oh, nice move there. Ortner got the hard pass and gets two. 31-16, Hampshire, approaching two minutes left. Yeah, Tony, those free throws are the ones that secure the games. Yeah, you need those in a close game. Do high from top of the key, hits the back of the iron and out, but a strip. Brendan Woods Rose. with the steal. Goes up, fakes it, loses it. Getting back to Bridges, it looked like they're a little sloppy play on that part, but McKenzie zero comes up with it for Crystal Lake. And here comes a three from downtown off the Ed Franson. They're just off with their three-point shooting. I don't know if they've hit one. Well, they've only got one so far, Crystal Lake. And McKenzie, they control the ball here, and there's another turnover by Cruz. Another travel there. That's that's two for him there. All right, Hampshire, ready to inbound. 
Number 30. Spay inbounds. Woods got the ball. Sets up to Bennett. Bennett on top trying to set something up. Looks like they're in a man-to-man -man here. Oh, nice pass. Oh, Woods had it, lost it. It should be a Hampshire ball. Almost a turnover there, Anthony. Well, we've seen a lot of that already from both sides, of course, more probably on the Tigers. You know, Tony, I've come to realize uh, Hampshire might have an advantage as uh, it looks like uh, Crystal Lake Central has doesn't have a very big squad. They don't have a very big roster. Look, they look like they got three guys on the bench right now. Hampshire's got about ten. Yeah, Hampshire got a lot of depth. Yeah, Hampshire has a height advantage too. And there's Wood inbound, and it looks like he got fouled. I mean, look at the height difference right there between McKenzie and Wood. McKenzie trying to block him. All he could do is foul him there. Oh, yeah, you're not kidding. And that puts Hampshire in the penalty. So it looks like he's going to shoot two, though, on this one anyway. And he gets the first one. Well, let's see if they get our uh, buddy Skog in here in this game, huh? <laughs> like to give a shout out. <laughs> and he gets both of them. So Woods again the lead, 33-16. Uh, we got 50 seconds left. Crystal Lake trying to drive, get a uh, shot here. I don't know if they're going to hold for the last shot. They look like they're a little pressing it here. McKenzie on the top of the key, goes right by Woods, goes up, loses the ball, and rebounded by Bridges. I don't know if he was trying to go high off that arc or it looked like he started losing it. Bridges to Wood. Hampshire, 30 seconds to go. Bennett back to Woods. Woods fakes a shot, goes up, and it looks like the same guy got him, Anthony McKenzie with the foul. Yeah, mate, well, that, you know what? For Crystal Lake Central, well, they may have to go with the plan that you used to do when you were coaching. You, you can't step some of that tall height. You might have to go with the hack of shack. <laughs> the hack of shack. Let's get the three guys. Their foul was on 15, by the way, Sigrid. And Woods is three in a row with the free throws there. And they get their big man back in here. Yeah, it looks like the 33 there, uh, Panko, he's the only guy that's really tall on this team. They're like a small squad. Not only they don't have a big bench, but they don't have a lot of height. Yeah, they they don't really don't. I, I've seen a lot of these five ten five five seven McKenzie coming in to the game. And here it's up, and he misses that one, so he jinxed him. Anyway, Hampshire with a 34-16 lead, 18 points. This is their biggest lead of the game, and we're down to 10 seconds left. Crystal Lake gonna take the last shot. Oh, he walked, carried that one, man. and he got away with it, and. That looked like an obvious one. Bennett with the board, and there's a shot. Oh! oh. Off the back short by Drew Doran. Unbelievable ending here. Folks, Hampshire, 37-16. We'll be back with a little halftime show. You're watching TV 17 Sports. JR Shooting Sports has a variety of great gift ideas for the holidays. We have a large selection of Filson premium field bags. Buck and Gerber multi-tools are a gift that anyone would love. JR Shooting Sports has some excellent stocking stuffers like duck and goose calls, hand warmers, videos, compasses, and Winchester coffee in a collectible tin, all for under $20. Gift certificates are also available for those last minute gift ideas. Happy holidays from JR Shooting Sports. Q Hopper Sports in Aurora has the best selection of sporting goods in the Fox Valley. Just name the sport and they have the gear. From baseball bats and baseball gloves to running shoes, as well as a wide assortment of sweats. We have jerseys of all your favorite teams, including the White Sox, the Cubs, the Blackhawks, the Bulls, and yes, we also have lots of Bear and Packer items too. Plus, we carry apparel from all of our local high schools. That's Kierhopper Sports on Galena Boulevard in Aurora. Welcome back, folks. It's halftime here in Hampshire. And Hampshire enjoying a 21-point lead, 37-16. Uh, boy, Hampshire, I tell you what, after the first three minutes, came out sluggish. But, boy, they've sure turned it up and put the clams on Crystal Lake. 
Uh, Anthony, what can we expect from, uh, from the second half here from Crystal Lake? Well, from Crystal Lake, I don't know what they're going to expect. They, they just got try to try to get back in this game, get a basket here, get a basket there, and get some momentum. For Hampshire, you know, I expect to Barnett to maybe put in some subs, get in guys some action, and... Uh, you know, the rest of the guys maybe just grab some popcorn and enjoy uh, this 21-point lead and build on it. Well, there you go. I mean, that's uh, for the Hampshire side, but for Crystal Lake, I mean, they got to start making some better shots, I would think, and stop turning the ball over. Like I said, uh, Hampshire is really dominating the boards now offensively and defensively, and they seem to enjoy a height advantage. And, yeah, we want to see our buddy Justin Scogg in the game there. So, Coach, get him in there for a couple of minutes, huh? All right, we'll be back with the uh, start of the third quarter. You're watching TV 17 Sports. I'm Melissa Garcia, and I'm Dania Smith with Remax All Pro. As you know, our real estate market has gone through some major changes over the last few years, and we have grown and changed as well. At Remax All Pro, the Melissa Garcia team offers personalized service and experience that you deserve. Now coupled with the most up-to-the-minute technology and maximum exposure that Remax has to offer. For the first time, our local inventory is low, which is great news for sellers. And the interest rates are at a historic low as well, making it a great time to buy. The market this year is starting off great, and we too are refreshed, re-energized, and ready to help you make the best move ever. So feel free to call, text, or email us anytime or visit our website at www.melissagarciahomes.com. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Attention campers, attention campers. If you're looking for a new or pre-owner travel trailer, camping trailer, pit wheel, toy hauler, accessible trailer, or destination trailer, go to Vacation Land in Big Rock, Illinois. You pay no fees. You're buying an RV, not fees, no freight. No setup, no propane charges, no hookup fees. Just your beautiful new RV ready for family fun. This message was brought to you by Vacation Land RV. We sell RVs, not fees. Call us at 630-556-3211 or go to our website, vacationlandrv.com, for more information. Here we're watching TV 17 Sports. We're ready to start the third quarter and... Crystal Lake inbounds the ball. I got a big deficit here, down by 21 points. Still got a whole half. You never know what will happen. And there's the first drive by number five. Olsen and gets the basket. Oh, a long pass there. Oh, right in the face. Drew Doran, big foul there. Anyway, cuts the lead. Hampshire with 37-18. That was on Ortner, number 24, with the hard foul. Two shots coming up for Dorn. Dorn with that incredible three-pointer at the end of the half, Anthony. He's got seven points. Hampshire got a balance attack here. He got Woods with eight. Dorn with seven. He missed both of them. Hampshire Quick more. rebound, and uh, Hampshire not back on defense. And, oh, McKenzie missed the easy layup. Hampshire got a little sloppy there. But Crystal Lake controlling the board. Ortner trying to drive. He does, gets it up and in. And Crystal Lake jumps out with the first four points of this third quarter and cuts the lead to 37-20. Well, yeah, I mean, we said, you know, if you're Crystal Lake Central, you know, you got to get stops and you got to get your bench in the game. There's got, you guys got to get fired up. And you gotta want this game, and you gotta do it as a team. Well, Matt Bridges with the basket. Hampshire 39 to 20, and looks like we got a hack foul. Could be on Bridges here. I don't know how McKenzie missed that one right under the. Yeah, that was too. It was too easy. That's what happens. Sometimes those easy ones are the hardest to make. But uh, they need to make every shot here uh, if they're gonna get back in this one. Still down by 19, and oh, we can't get that free throw. So Ortner misses the first one. Second one on the way up and short and rebounded by Tuttle. Jake Tuttle with that board and they got a man wide open and Dorn with a three and a little short. Rebounded by Ortner and a quick speed and 
Oh, boy, and another miss layup there by uh, Fronson with the miss. And I don't know what happened there, but it's going to be Hampshire ball. Uh, Tony, I, just, I think if I saw that correctly, if you, I think you two-handed that, just threw that up there with two hands underhand. Yeah, unbelievable. Well, Hampshire controlling the second half still, trying to slow this one down a little bit. Got a Woods on top of the key, makes a drive, spin around by it. Wow, with a fingertip roll. That's a highlight one right there yeah. for Woods. Yeah, that was a nice And one. look at that. It's a turnover by Crystal Lake South. Just when they thought they were going to make a run here, they just gave it right back. Hampshire with a 41-20 lead, 6.22 to go. Third quarter. Hampshire will inbound the ball. Crystal Lake tried to get a life here, get a couple quick baskets to start, but... Again, it's back to 21 points. Oh, good dish, and that's off of Bridges. There's another turnover. Went right through his hands. Yeah, even Coach Barnett, look, he doesn't like that. Even up by 21, he wants uh, plays like that to, to work, you know? Yep. Yeah, he's very uh, competitive very and very serious, you know. Well, you know, you're out here competitive sports. you got to play. There's no letting up at all. you got to play hard. And, oh, Bridges with the block. All blocked there. And Hampshire denies him a basket. Bridges gets Doran low. Turn around and won't go. Good board. There's your buddy, Anthony. Jerry. Yeah. Jerry with the follow-up. Yeah, that was a very nice follow-up, man. Yeah, I think he. And a steal by Woods. He's got an easy break. Oh, he's going to go for the slam. I can't believe there's no Golden on there. And a, board, a shot by Doran, but it won't foul. Wow, well, I think Woods tried to dunk that. Yeah, it looked like, but I looked like the other guy grabbed the, the, the backboard or something, or the, the rim. Anyway, Hampshire, Doran going to shoot two. Hampshire has a 23-point lead, the biggest lead of the game right now. I think, and I think, you know, you see Barnett and Woods having a conversation. He might just be saying, hey, put it in. Don't, don't try to get a big show or anything. Take the basket. Yeah, you know what? If you have a 24-point lead and there's like a couple minutes left in the game, that's when you can do a showboat. But not now. There's still a lot of game left. Well, you know, Tony, and you, you know, you mentioned, you know, sometimes you, you know, you take that foot off the gas pedal, and then it, the game gets interesting, and you try to push that pedal back down, and it doesn't go down right away. Uh, that's a good observation. Yes, yes. All right, Hampshire with a 45-20 lead. Crystal Lake trying to drive. Good feed right there. And, uh, oh, he just threw that one up, now, Francis. I, I don't know if Crystal Lake's giving up or what, but that's sloppy basketball right uh, there. Yeah, that, you know, Tony, I mean, that was that was the second time through that. That was uh, Chad Franzen. I don't know what he was doing. Crystal Lake needs a timeout right here because they've given up. Yeah, Hampshire missed a three, and they're not even boxing out. It was just an easy board by Doran. And Hampshire with a 47-20 lead. And it looks like there's a – he's like going to have five guys coming in here, Anthony. Oh, yeah. yeah. So four, this is a 27-point lead, the biggest lead of the game for Hampshire. And oh, another one. That's ups and downs right there. I can't believe it. A little spinorama. They still can't buy one. They're still giving the breaks. Bridges with the board, back to Woods. Woods was going to go for the dunk, and he does an easy layup. 49-20 Hampshire, 4.20 to go third quarter. And this is just, I mean, Crystal Lake's just not even trying. They're just standing around, and Bridges oh, is up. Oh, Woods was going to go at the dunk, but missed. But it was a foul anyway. So Bridges will shoot too. But you can just tell, Crystal Lake's standing around. They're not uh, following their shots, and they're not boxing out at all. So oh, Hampshire's man. getting some easy boards. And I don't know what their coach, uh, Rich. Well, there, he's just down right now. I just saw him. He's saying, you get back on defense. Yeah. So they're being lazy. But I think that's a little bit too late now. All right, a whole mess of subs coming in now. You got uh, Matt Lamas coming in. I don't know if I've seen a, a game with a 30-point lead, Anthony, uh, this you know, with this much left. We still got a quarter to go. Who's in the game now? Matt, Matt Lamas is the only uh, new guy we, we're seeing on the floor right okay. now. And Bridges gets it. So he'll check out for Duhai. And 51 to 20 with 414 still to go in this third quarter. <laughs> Chris
Crystal Lake only had 16 points at halftime, so they've only got four points in this game, and that was, the, I mean, this third quarter. That was the first two baskets in the opening 30 seconds. And then I don't know if he has a foul on him. I think okay, he just tripped. Yeah, I'm trying to re see what Central here is doing for plays. They just look like they can't organize a good play together either, you know. And Hampshire, I think, is on a 14-0 run here because it was like 37-16 when this uh, quarter started. Crystal Lake got the first four points, and yep. then it's been all Hampshire. And almost a steal there. See, like I said, Crystal Lake, oh, you know what? It's just a small squad. Maybe this Crystal Lake team, like I said, just they're under man with their height. But there's, there's a good effort right there. And Hampshire gets the ball. Woods. Good work by Bennett there. And Bennett's going to go for a three, and that's way off. I don't know what happened there. But a good save, and wow. He saved it. Matt Lamas. Matt Lamas off a of Crystal Lake player, so things are going well for Hampshire. Yeah, and there's a guy off the bench who... <laughs> And a 21-point lead gave it all to save that ball. Oh, he had him open. He missed it. He had Bennett on the cut. And it looks like a lot of steps there. And yeah. still can't get it. Offensive board by the big man. Panko still can't get in there. And another, just, they're just turning it up. And finally, Tuttle has it. Boy, that was three shots in a row by this Crystal Lake team. And nothing is going for him. Three minutes go in this quarter. Woods in the high. high couldn't handle it, but it gets it back. Oh, got that one, his pocket pick, but top of the key again, Woods. Fakes it, got it to high inside. high going against the big guy. And high gets the fingertip roll. Wow. This is four points for high And Hampshire with a 53-20 lead, but uh, I think that 16-0 run just ended. It, it did. Jacob Sigmord with the basket. You almost want Chris Lake to get one here. Yeah. He's going to try for the three-point. He was fouled on the play. Only a third-team foul. That foul's on Woods. All right, let's see if uh, Ortner can complete the three-point play here. And he does. So they finally break that 16-0 run. It's 53-23. A 30-point lead for Hampshire. Bennett he had the shot, didn't take it. Bridges trying to drive, and he, look, Bridges just, that's too easy, Anthony. He just walked in uncontested. Uh, yeah, just went right around and put it in. 55-23 Hampshire, 216 left. This is the biggest lead of the game, Hampshire. 32 points. Thor Skog. And a shot by Panko and just off. Well, you know what? For the big man, so he had a couple of rebounds and oh, downtown for Ortner. They finally, that's only their second three of the game. Jack Ortner. Cuts, a, cuts the lead to 29. Might have been their best shot of the game. 55 26. Well, Bridget wow. has a man right open. That's it. Lamas? Lamas with his first basket. Wide open. <laughs> And I say wide with the capital W. 57-26 Hampshire, 1.30 to go, third quarter. And a little alley whoop, Alamis gets that rebound in that crowd. Gives it to Bennett. And Hampshire now just toying with him. Yeah, and maybe now a moment of just slow down and. Oh, finds too high open and under the boards. And see, they're just getting too wide open. Nice pass again by Bridges to do high. 59-26. Oh. Well, they're going to call that a blocking foul. Oh, man. Uh, you can't give everything to Hampshire. Yeah, you know what? I mean, it looked like he he looked like he was there, but. Uh, I thought, I didn't know. I thought I saw a little stiff arm there. I mean, you said, you know, it, maybe these refs got to give a call here to Central. And a no, you know what? Central looks like, well, you're right. They only have three subs, and they look like they're all, look at the three guys that just came out. They're all worn oh, out. Oh, yeah, so. they got their. Hampshire ran them to death. A little a small bench here maybe hurt them. But they just can't keep up with Hampshire's speed. And like I said, they've been dominated offensively and defensively on the boards. No question. <laughs> Top of three-pointer, not good. Bennett gets the ball again. Like I said, every board, Hampshire has to out-rebound him three to one. Oh, nice pass to Loomis. And he gets it. 
They just can't do anything wrong here. 61-26. 40 seconds to go. Cruz got their ball pocket pick, but it went off of Hampshire, so they'll get it. But yeah, Crystal Lake, just look at them. They look like they're exhausted. Their hands are on the hips. That's why they can't get back on defense. Ah, I mean, and we'd mentioned a four and four team. I mean, gotta wonder who have they knocked off? I don't know, but Hampshire's confidence is gonna grow after this. Like I said, this has to be their biggest win that I'm gonna see in a, in a, that I've been doing these games. And just can't buy it. And there's over the back there. That foul should be on Fronson. They just can't, like I said, Hampshire's got the height. They're boxing them out. 61-26 Hampshire, 21 seconds to go, third quarter. Maybe they uh, can buy a couple of those Hampshire players on the bench over there. Yeah, we might be able to get a few of them in there. I mean, even a 35-point lead is safe now to put Skog in, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Hampshire trying to, looks like Hampshire's going to take the last shot. Eight seconds to go. And Bennett drives. Oh, he gives it to Loomis. Loomis with the long oh. shot. Oh, he gets it. Look at that kid. Unbelievable shot there. And Hampshire has a 63-26 lead. We'll be right back after a word here from our sponsors. You're watching TV 17 Sports. When it's time to choose a tractor, look for quality that stands the test of time. Reliability that can carry you through the tough times. Resale value you can bank on down the road. From one brand that's been working the land for more than 170 years. All backed by the finest dealer network around. John Deere. Nothing runs like a deer. Hi, I'm Dave Gieske from Buck Brothers in Hampshire. We have three other locations to serve you. Harvard, Wakanda, and Libertyville. We often forget about the people behind the snow plows who are out clearing the way for us in the worst winter conditions. Westside Truck stands behind these workers to repair and keep their trucks on the road no matter how high the snow piles up this winter. Hodges Westside Truck Center is the place to go if you need a work truck for your business. Hodges offers a wide variety of trucks to meet your needs. And we have two locations to serve you in Marengo and in Elburn. And that's where you can browse around and find the right truck for you. We also service what we sell. We have an excellent parts and customer service department, and we also have a complete workshop to make the repairs you need to keep your truck on the road. Our Elburn facility is located on Main Street, just east of Route 47, and in Marengo, you can find Westside Truck Center on Route 20 Grant Highway near I-90. Welcome back, folks. We're ready to start this fourth quarter here, and Andy, this is a complete blowout. Hampshire has been in control since uh, the fourth minute of the first quarter. I mean, with a 63-26 lead. I don't know what Crystal Lake just looks like. They're outmanned, outgunned, and uh, tired and worn out. Oh, uh, all of that. Just uh, we, could say, uh, we can go on and on about just how overmatched they are, it seems like. All right, Hampshire with the inbound. Tuttle has it. I'm not sure what Crystal Lake's in. They're in a uh, man-to-man -man here. Uh, if they're trying to press now, it's a little bit too late, but... Do high top of the key finds Bridges and he returns the favor. Bridges set him up with a nice feed and like I said, too many open shots under there. Uncontested and 65-26. Do high with the steal. A little fancy move there by Bennett. He's got Loomis under, didn't have it. Oh, he walked. First mistake by the youngster there. Yeah. We got a couple more subs. We're gonna get uh, uh, Xavier Bennett, number 32 in, Zay Zay. And uh, we got uh, 34, Dion Garcia coming in. So he's going to his bench here, and there's a steal by Garcia. And he's got an open basket, and he gets it. So Garcia right away comes up, and 67-26, a 41-point lead by Hampshire. And won't go, gets his fouls, his rebound, and again won't go. It looks like Duhai got him. Well, you're going to see every call go Crystal South Lake now with a 40-point deficit, so. Yeah, 41 points. You know, it's really interesting. I, I, You know, it puzzles me about how small their roster is. Uh, Tony, I went to uh, the football game this year for Crystal Lake Central uh, against the Whippers at Crystal Lake Central. And uh, believe me, they had a big football team, uh, a big crowd, a big marching band. 
Uh, not for basketball, though. I don't know what's going on here. But well, they, they beat our guys by, uh, I'd say, probably around this score, 67-27. Looks like they're going to empty the bench here. I see Scott might come in. Uh, anyway, you steal here. Crystal Lake jumps up, won't get the ball. They did get one free throw out of it, and looks like that's going to be a foul on Crystal Lake there. 67-27, seven minutes to go in this game. And it looks like we're going to see a few guys coming in. It looks like he's going to play everybody today, Anthony. Yeah, we got. Uh, we might have Skog and Diete. Uh, well, the 40-point lead, you know, you, I think I think it's safe to put anybody in with a 40-point lead. But. Yeah. And, and you know what? They've shown no signs of failure. I mean, they, Garcia and Lamas just came in and hit some nice baskets. I mean, they're all over this uh, central team. Yeah, well, remember, this this, this is a tired central team right now. I can just see on their faces. I mean, they're trying, but and there's a nice open pass. Oh, Tuttle with the miss. He had an easy basket, but again, Garcia with the rebound. The layup gets it. So he gets a quick four points, 69-27. Still got a lot of basketball left, six minutes. Chris Lake had the shot, and just Garcia picked his pocket. Or Lamas. Lamas picked his pocket. Well, I don't know. It's hard. You want to maybe take the gas pedal off now a little bit, you know. But there's a feed to Tuttle to Garcia, going for a three-pointer, oh. and just gets it. I mean, everything going well. 72 27, six minutes to go. This is like one of the biggest routes I've seen. And there, a three pointer by Crystal Lake. Finally, Sigmund with the basket. He's got 11 points. 72 30, Hampshire. Duhigh. Looked like he lost it, but it was knocked away. And here we got a couple more players in here. We got uh, Brian Didi. And number 14, Monavong. Vinny Monavong. Vinny Monavong in here. And Didi, seen her, her first action here. All right, didn't buy into too high. So the only guy that hasn't played yet is Skog, right? Uh, yeah, I'm looking, waiting for the Justin Skog, better known as the Junkyard Dog. And Duhigh with the roll. Everything going Hampshire's way. 74-30 Hampshire. Yeah, this has got to be one of their best performances of the season. You you mentioned this is going to get their confidence rolling, and maybe this would be good for them uh build off this win and, you know, improve their record. Uh, looks like a foul. You know what? No need to start fouling now. You might as well just let them have it. I mean, 74-30, come on. A 44-point lead. I tell you what, I just let the clock tick, okay? And if I was Crystal Lake, I just want to get the hell out of here, too. Yeah. Rest up, go home, and study for those finals. Well, Jack Ortner, he's having himself a game. He's got 14 points for Crystal. Or that's his 15th point. So, and the second one won't go. But between him and Franson, they've got uh, 24 points out of 31. So, just two men scoring. That's not going to cut it here. Uh, Hampshire. Oh, he had a fake turnaround. He gets it! Wow! That must be his first passing. Vinny Mordervog with his first points in the game. That was a great move right there. And a steal! Garcia. Up. He gets it! And a foul. That foul is going to be on Cruz. And yeah, I tell you what, Hampshire, just everything, this is one of those games. I don't know, can Hampshire score 100 points? <laughs> yeah, you know what, no. It, yeah, Scott! The there's our man, dog. number 44, Scott, in the game. My buddy Scott. And Scott, what are you wearing my number for? <laughs> anyway, Hampshire, 78-31. Here's the free throw, and he gets it. 79-31. Just under five minutes to go. Good feed and a foul. Yeah, you, know, you don't need to foul. Yeah, and you know what, Tony, too, with, with this type of lead, I mean, you just want to go out there and, you know, you don't have to go and try to steal as hard, you know what I mean? Just kind of play a little offense, play a little defense, but you don't have to try to go for a steal in every time, you know? All right, here's a shot up there, and doesn't get it. Skog with the rebound. Hampshire's got the ball. 
They got to feed that ball to number 44 there. He's hungry. And Scott's open. Oh, he had a shot. Let's do it. Scott with the rebound. Another board. Scott doesn't know what to do. He gets it up there. Oh, they all want Scott to get a basket there. Anyway, Hampshire with the uh, Crystal Lake with the rebound, and now oh, it's getting a little bit sloppy here. Fouls on Vinny, and actually Hampshire's in a penalty. I didn't realize this, so Crystal Lake shooting one on one the rest of the way. No, they must have caught a sh two shot foul, but he, boy, Crystal Lake, I tell you what, they just can't buy a basket. They can't get a free throw here. Nothing is going their way. No, not, not I mean, absolutely nothing. I mean, shots up, and still 0 for 2. They just can't get anything. They got their hands on their heads. And here we go. Bennett trying to set something up. And there's the one to Skog. He's got it on the low. Skog, oh, can't get it. They got a reach and foul on Bennett, it looks like. So, well, Skog, they're trying, it looks like they're trying to get Skog a basket here. They all want it. A very popular, very, I just want to give a shout out to him. You know, very polite kid. Works hard and is very supportive of this basketball team. And, uh, he, he deserves... Uh, All right, the big guy here, Panko, trying to get on the board. His first shot is up, and that won't go. They just can't buy one. Another shot, just miss after miss after... Whoa, look at that little fancy move there. Bennett, he goes, and goes coast to coast on that one. 81-31 Hampshire, a 50-point lead with 3.50 to go. Pankle with his first basket. Cuts that lead, 81-33. Three minutes ago, I don't know if Hampshire will get 100, but they're trying to give it to Skog. Nice reverse layup. Whoa, turn around and won't go for Vinny. Crystal Lake has a man wide open there. McKenzie, and he got this one. That's four in a row for Crystal Lake South. 81-35. Three minutes left. A little pick and roll. There's there. Scott. Oh, he's open. He good move. He got him up in the air. And Scott's going to go to the line. Fouls on Panko. That's their seven foul, but I mean, he was shooting, so this should be two. This bench is going to ex explode. <laughs> Look at these guys. The bench is about to, about to jump up for me. He gets one. First shot up. And Scott gets it. Is that his first bucket of his career? Yeah, it might be. <laughs> There's the second one up. It's up. And he's got it. So Hampshire with an 83-35 lead under three to go. I don't know why they're pressing. Hampshire just really laid it in, I mean. Got a man wide open, takes a shot, won't get it, and there's McKenzie. Oh, looks like that's on Skog. It's there in a double penalty now, so he'll shoot two the rest of the way. McKenzie with the first one, gets it. Five points for him. Second one's up and in. And six points for McKenzie in Hampshire with an 83-37 lead. A little dipsy doodle there and Bennett gets the roll. 85-37, 2.30 to go and we got a push. Looks like it may be on Garcia there. And Hampshire really close. To, they might hit 90. I don't know about 100 and 229. Fronson with the basket. He's got 11. I believe he's their leading scorer. Olsen, yeah. Derek Olsen. He's... Right between him and uh, number 24, Ortner. Ortner had a 
game. They had, like I said, a one-two punch. Whoop, won't get it. Sky with the board. 85, I don't know if Hampshire could do 100. Maybe Hampshire was trying for 100 here, I don't know. They need seven baskets. Whoa, a little rough there. Oh, they're gonna call it on D. Oh. Still Hampshire's ball. No, I guess they caught it on foul on Gar Garcia must have stepped out or something like that. But anyway, Crystal Lake will get the ball. And you can't expect any, anything to go Hampshire's way now. Trust me, with a, a lead like that. Goes up, and there he is. Order with the basket, and that's 17 points for him. Those guys got 28 points out of 40, Anthony. Yeah. Fortunately, he needed a couple more guys. Didi yeah. well, with a long shot. His first shot of the game, and it won't go. They, they have not had a lot of defense tonight, Tony. Give and there he goes again. Coast to coast won't get it, but Didi with the board to Bennett. Oh, nice move. Reverse layup. Garcia. 87-40. 128 to go. A long three by Franson. In and out. And McKenzie with the board. Three-point attempt again. And gets it. Jack Ortner. He leads... He might lead all scores with 20 points here. 87-43 Hampshire. Won't get the roll. And Crystal Lake with the board. Oh, a little turnover there, almost, but Ortner with a turnaround, and it is gonna be... A, it's a charge. A charge. Nope, it's calling a blocking foul. Uh -huh. Calling a blocking foul on Didi. And the basket. Jay Ortner here. Gets the three point play there. So, 87 46. He's got 23 points. 41 point lead. Sky throws that one up there. Uh, Dion had a chance for a three pointer. D's going to try from three. Oh. Gets it, and I think everybody in Hampshire finally scored this game. 90-46. I think you're right. I think everybody on this Hampshire team scored. Let's see. Crystal, yeah, yeah everybody scored. Doran, Bridges, Monavong, Lamos, Ajiri Ogal, Tuttle, both the Tuttles, both the Bennetts, Woods. All right, here's a shot from Long Wade and Crystal Lake trying to shoot. Looks like we're gonna get a foul on Garcia. You know what, you might as well just let him have it. Come on, 14 yeah, I mean, seconds left now, come on. Really, yeah, I mean, there's no need to be. Control, yeah, 14 seconds left. Grab the basketball and let it bounce. Shots up, he gets the first one. Chad Franzen. That's only three points for him. And they get the board. Oh, they're gonna call another foul. Come on. Oh. Foul's on Skog. That, that looked like all ball to me. Now Chad Franson, who just missed, is gonna try uh, to get another one. And he gets misses that one. Boy, I tell you, they missed a lot of free throws. Well, what do you got in the playbook to get you no, this game was over at halftime. And he's controlled the board. And he puts it in there. And that might do it. Ortner with 25 points there. And this should do it. They're going to call with 0.6 seconds. I don't even why you bother, but. Looks like they're going to call the jump ball and give it to Crystal Lake. Uh, look at it. Tigers. Wow, this is amazing. A game for Hampshire, uh, 90 points. That's probably the most points I've seen Hampshire score in uh, the four of the years I've been doing this. And that's it, folks. That's your final score. Hampshire, 90. Crystal Lake, 49. We'll be back in a moment. You're watching TV 17 Sports.
quick wrap up or that's it? Yeah, really. Come on, man. JR Shooting Sports has a variety of great gift ideas for the holidays. We have a large selection of Filson premium field bags. Buck and Gerber multi-tools are a gift that anyone would love. JR Shooting Sports has some excellent stocking stuffers like duck and goose calls, hand warmers, videos, compasses, and Winchester coffee in a collectible tin, all for under $20. Gift certificates are also available for those last minute gift ideas. Happy holidays from JR Shooting Sports. Q Hopper Sports in Aurora has the best selection of sporting goods in the Fox Valley. Just name the sport and they have the gear. From baseball bats and baseball gloves to running shoes, as well as a wide assortment of sweats. We have jerseys of all your favorite teams, including the White Sox, the Cubs, the Blackhawks, the Bulls, and yes, we also have lots of Bear and Packer items too. Plus, we carry apparel from all of our local high schools. That's Kierhofer Sports on Galena Boulevard in Aurora. Welcome back, folks. Well, you saw an exciting game for Hampshire anyway. I mean, 90-47, uh, I mean, uh, that's the most points I've seen Hampshire score, I think, since I've been uh, televising these games here. Con uh, after the first three minutes of this game, it was total domination by Hampshire. Controlled the boards, offense, defensively. Uh, every player got in the game and scored. Uh, Anthony, what did you think about Hampshire's uh, domination today? A dominant performance, uh, very happy. And you gotta like the ending with everybody scoring on Hampshire. Everybody got playing time. Now it's just going to be something for them to build off of and yeah, keep this win streak going. They're 7-1, and one and they're cruising, and they got to keep it going. Yeah, that's right. They've won now four in a row. Uh, they're going to go into, I believe their next game is the uh, Sycamore to DeKalb tournament here. So that's always tough. you got some good teams there. Anyway, like I said, Hampshire did a great job. Your final score was 90-47. That'll do it from us. Uh, you guys have a great uh, holiday if we don't see you before then. And